we're live again. Hope you guys missed me. Uh, waiting for Syl here. Should connect. Um, we'll, we'll talk about what she's up to. Um, if you haven't watched all these, they, they've been a lot of fun. We've talked to Rachel Bannum, Lexi Brown, uh, Nafisa Collier last week. So uh, we've had a lot of fun with these, and I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, let's connect here quick. We, we did it. Yeah. Sorry, sorry about that. No problem. How are you? I, I'm doing well. Um, yeah, I, think <laughs> I, I think that's probably the, the, the right spot to, to start. How are you doing? Obviously, um, crazy. I'm guys. all right. I can't complain. What, what have you been doing to, uh, to, to stay busy? Um, everything. Uh, a little bit from babysitting, schoolwork, uh, doing stuff around the house, uh, riding my bike, and going to the grocery store every now and then, but pretty much just the basics. <laughs> yeah, you sound busier than, than everybody. I think for, for me, my, my plans include uh, working, maybe like a yoga class, and then eating all the food in my house. So, um, uh, Yeah, I, I'm about tired of eating, and I'm tired of going to the grocery store. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick of my favorite snacks, which, which you know, that's when you're at rock bottom. That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we got word last week that the season is going to be postponed, which I don't think was a surprise to anybody, but uh, right. I, I guess w what were your reactions and, and what's your thought process through, through all of this? Um, like you said, I don't think I was surprised. I kind of anticipated for it to be that way. Um, I think everybody's first response was to just make sure everybody is healthy and safe. And I think that just was the best route. Um, however, I am ready for the season to start. Um, I love being home, and I think I'm a little tired of being in my house right about now, and that's kind of sad. <laughs> what, what is that like? Because uh, as an athlete, I'm sure that you have to kind of gear your body up to the start of a season or, right. um, you know, with, with training camp and preseason, the chances are when the season does resume that there will be probably a, a shortened training camp or shortened preseason right. to get ready. Mm -hmm. What is that like for an athlete when you might not know exactly when you might come back and you kind of have to stay ready? Um, yes, that's the, pretty much the goal, just making sure you stay ready and making sure you up on, like, just your cardio and stuff. I don't think um, you can fully get, like, in shape without having to be on the court, which kind of sucks, but – at least if you have your wind up, things shouldn't be so bad once you get back. But um, I just try to keep busy as much as possible. Um, I know I'm not going to be in top not basketball shape, but I want to be somewhat close to it. So you just got to make sure you just keep working out as much as possible. What are you doing for, for your home workout, workouts? I think all of us are um, um, <laughs> trying to figure that out. But for you, what are you doing as a professional athlete? For me, um, it depends. Um, I know – in-house workouts kind of suck for me, but I have a, a big yard, so that kind of works for me. So between just in-house, like, band stuff or just trying to get cardio in on my bike, I can get some run around in the yard. So at least I can still run that way or at least still ride my bike. So, But most of my stuff is just, like, free weights, bands, and uh, Pilates. Cool, cool. What's the communication been like with, with Cheryl Reeve and, and maybe some of your teammates? Uh there's probably some communication, but obviously I guess, right. I guess everybody kind of knows the, the same stuff right now. Well, Karima keeps us in the loop uh, team wise, just making sure everybody um, keep in contact. Everybody's up to date with the information. But as for me and Cheryl, uh, we talk probably every week, I would say probably twice a week, depending on um, some things you want to run across. 
uh, my mentor. But for the most part, everything is good. Um, communication is clear all across the board. So just making sure we get everything right before we do step foot on the court. It was announced, I think, two weeks ago now that the, the draft is going to take place uh, mm -hmm. in, in about a week and a half now. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a different format. People, right. there's, yeah, there's probably not going to be any war rooms. There's not going to be a, a right. central location for it. But um, I guess as we look back on your draft day, what do you remember from, from draft day about it being so special? And obviously, this, one, this one's going to be different, but it, it's still a memorable day. What do you remember from yours? Um. Mine, uh, just, just the preparation for everything. Um, it's something that you look forward to, especially as a senior. So it's kind of unfortunate for these seniors this year. They don't really get to fully witness, like, draft day. But um, just the whole preparation part of getting up early in the morning, getting your hair, your makeup done, mingling with people, making jokes. But um, just soaking it all up and um, putting it to perspective, like, your whole four years of what it was like for you to get to that point. I asked Nafisa this last last week. Um, obviously, the way the college season ended was not how anybody wanted to wanted it to end. Um, and, and as somebody who's been part of of you know March Madness tournaments and whether it be conference tournaments and whatnot, and to see some of those canceled, and especially for for seniors or juniors who are going to are, are draft eligible and, and mm -hmm. going to go to the pros, you know, as a former collegiate athlete, how how do you feel for those players? Um, it's disappointing um, because pretty much that's like their platform for them to showcase their talent. Um, like you said, for those juniors and those seniors, uh, for those ones who's not looking to go back and continue their career throughout college, um, it's pretty much their platform to show, like, this is what I have and this is my last go-round um, to showcase what I got and also to be with my teammates and, you know, our fans and things like that. So it, it kind of sucks for them. Like, I, I really feel bad for them that they don't have that that outlet right now. Yeah. Uh, speaking of teammates, uh, you got a new one in Minnesota th this offseason. Uh, the the Lynx acquired Rachel Bannum, um, uh -huh. another shooter, and, and having her and Lexi as shooters. And I think over the last two or three years, we've seen the game evolve um, mm -hmm. in, in a more of a shooting game. And um, we, we've talked about this last year a bit, and Nafisa can, can shoot as well. Having you inside with, with shooters mm -hmm. outside, and it's kind of a pick your poison. H how important is, is stretching the floor for um, for you, I, I guess, to, to give get you touches inside? But then on the other end, you know, I'm sure you don't want, you don't want to brag yourself up too much. But as good as you are inside, to open things right. up for the shooters, um, it's give and take. So I work off them as much as they work off me. Um, by them being able to shoot and open things up for me, make it easier for me to not get triple and double T, but also um, giving them that leverage where they can get off shots. So it works both ways. And I, I'm happy to see us as shooters. Um, but if I was talking to Cheryl right now, I'd still be getting on her about post players. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's good. That's good. Uh, some fan questions. Somebody wants to know if you have any Netflix or book recommendations. Um, Netflix right now. Um, what am I watching on Netflix? Um, the Morgan Freeman thingy about God, where he traveled and talked to other people about what's their perspective about God. It's what I'm on right now. And my book right now I'm reading is, um, I forgot the title of it, Many Perspectives, Many Masters. I think that's what I'm reading. And so, um, it's just my philosophy of what I've been curious about throughout the world of what are we and why are we here in that purpose? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's so, good. yeah. <laughs> my goal going into all of this, I, I, or I used to say that, you know, if I ever was home for a long period of time or if I had the opportunity, I was going to read a bunch and I was going to get mm -hmm. ripped. So I was just going to lift weights and be strong. And <laughs> um, turns out I lied to myself. Neither. Yeah, you did. Is, yeah. <laughs> it's not happening at all. <laughs> Uh, so it's funny you say that like when I don't have time I figured out when I don't have time that's when I'm better at reading and working out because I can just cram everything in but now that I have time um, and especially since school just ended for me uh, last week I found myself not reading more I, I still work out probably as much but um, I do other stuff like I found myself dusting all day cleaning all day um, I've been making 
grant holders, but some are, I don't know why. <laughs> what? Like, I'll, I'll just be doing random stuff just to, like, keep myself busy. So I feel you, and I kind of understand, like, where you're coming from because it's, it's not always how you imagine it. <laughs> you might be the only person that's making plant holders throughout all of this. That's good. <laughs> Yo, see, I started off with one, and then by the end of the week, I had, like, six. Like, this is how much time I have on my hands. It's, it's getting pretty ridiculous. Oh, that's good. Um, well, well, we hope to see you soon, obviously, and we hope that we get to see basketball, but obviously safety is the most important thing right now. Um, as we go here, do you have anything to say to Lynx fans or, or WNBA fans in general be before we go? Um, just to keep safe, um, have fun at home, uh, get creative, of course. <laughs> Love you too. Love you too. <laughs> that was for my little black sister. Hi, Tanya. Um, just to keep safe, be creative. Um, and eventually when all this stuff die down, that we'll be back and make sure y'all just come back rowdy with the love and the support, um, across the league and support us. All right. Thanks, Sal. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. No problem.